Hmm? Come in. Mm -hmm. Hello, friends. Hi, Amber. How are you feeling today? I feel much better. Thank you. Do sit down. That's good news. School is no fun without you. So what did I miss in school today, Bunny? Today, we learned a new topic on measuring distance. Miss Lucy showed us some interesting ways in which we can measure the distance between objects. Yes, we learned that we can measure the distance between objects using our body parts such as fingers and hands. That's interesting. I want to learn about measuring distance too. Will you teach me? That's a great idea. Bunny, let us show Amber what we learned today. First, let us understand what distance is. Distance is the length between two objects. It shows how far two objects are from each other. This is one object and this is another object. This end to this end is called the distance between the two frames. So, is this the distance that we have to measure now? You are right, Bunny. Now observe how I measure the distance between the frames with my fingers. See, the thumb touches Judy's frame. So, the two frames are at a distance of five fingers from each other. Isn't that simple, Bunny? Now we can easily know the distances between things. Yes, but fingers are not the only way of measuring distance. When objects are far apart, measuring distance with the help of fingers takes a lot of time. Then what are the other ways, Sandy? One method is to use your hand. Let us find two objects that are a little far apart from each other. I know. Let us find the distance between Amber's bed and his toy cabinet. Good idea, Bunny. Let us use hand spans to measure the distance between the bed and the cabinet. Now, this is a new word. What is a hand span, Sandy? A hand span is the distance between the tip of the thumb and the tip of the little finger of an outstretched hand. Now, let us measure the distance between the bed and the cabinet using hand spans. First, I shall place my left hand at the end of the bed. The tip of my little finger to the tip of my thumb measures one hand span. I will make a mark near the tip of the thumb with my pen. Now, I will remove my hand and place it so that the tip of the little finger touches the pen mark. Now, we are two hand spans away from the bed. As you can see, the cabinet is three hand spans away from the bed. This is so much fun! Learning lessons becomes so simple with examples. Hey Amber, what is the big red gift box kept inside? It's a cricket kit. My aunt gave it to me when she came to see me. You can open it if you want to. Wow! This is amazing! There is a bat, a ball and three stumps with a stand. Hey, I have an idea. 
why don't we set up the cricket kit and play for some time? <laughs> yes, we can. I haven't had the time to play with it. It will be fun with you guys around. And we can learn while we play. How can we do that, Sandy? See, we need to keep the stumps at a proper place. We can make use of the lesson we learned today to do this. So first, let us place the stumps at a distance of two handspans from the door. This is one handspan. Now, the distance is two handspan from the door. Bunny, please place the stand near my thumb. Good. Now let's place the stumps in the stand. Here, the stumps are ready. Not yet, Bunny. Now let us see if these three stumps have been placed properly. Let us measure the distance between the first two stumps. How do we do that? Using our fingers? No. Let us find something else to measure the distance. I know. We can use these matchsticks. Mom uses them to light candles. Brilliant idea, Amber. Here, we can see that the distance between the first and the second stump is one matchstick. Let us find the distance between the second and the third stump. Now, the stumps are ready. Amber, you can bowl from the bed. Let us start the game. <laughs> this was fun, guys. Amber, once you are completely well, we shall play cricket in your garden with all our friends. Hey, Bunny, I think we should leave now and let Amber rest. Bye, Amber. Take care, Amber. Bye! I'm so happy my friends came to teach me today. I feel as if I have not missed school at all. I will quickly repeat what I learnt about measuring distance. Distance shows how far two objects are from each other. A hand span is the distance between the tip of the thumb and the tip of the little finger of an outstretched hand. The distance between two objects can be measured using fingers, hand spans and also other objects such as matchsticks.